Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Storm Blake here. We have a couple of things that we're going to be talking about. Of course, from the title, you saw that we're going to be talking about the new Hourglass Holiday Collection and what they released. But I also did test out the new NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. So let's jump right into the things that we're going to be talking about. So, of course, the Hourglass palette. I did get the quad. I didn't opt for the bigger palette. The bigger palette is $80 and it's not something that I feel that I need in my collection at this moment. So let's give you some of the specs on the quad the inside and how that looks. So when I did see this online, I did feel like it looked a lot lighter than it is in person. I wasn't really expecting it to work for me. Like I was so ready to be like, okay, this is definitely going back to Sephora because the colors are so light. I must say I am impressed with the palette. Uh, before you even go any further, I am in love with it. Let me so the cost of the palette is $58 and I thought this one was a little bit more palatable with the price being $58. I can't, I can't bring myself to pay $80 for that bigger palette. There are a couple of reasons why. Like I'm not against spending money on things that are worth it and if they definitely you know, are worth the price tag but I have a couple of qualms with Hourglass and we'll get to that in just a second. But Sephora says that it's a cult favorite and it is in a curated quad with four shades to layer and blend for a multi-dimensional radiance. So you do get a finishing powder, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. And I think that's quite a bit to get um, within one palette. It is really travel friendly. And now let's get to my qualms with Hourglass. As you can see, the packaging is beautiful, exquisite. I love that, even though it is going to get on a lot of fingerprints. So this is the one from last year that I bought. This is just all blushes in this quad. And I love the formulation of these blushes as well. Like I'm not a huge blush person. I don't like people to see that I'm wearing blush. I don't like it to be in your face. But the formulation of these products are spectacular. Now let's get into the qualms with Hourglass. It is 2020 and an Hourglass as a company is definitely not listening to its consumers because they refuse to put out anything darker than light to medium. And I think that it's absolutely ridiculous, especially in 2020 with so many things happening about racial injustice and just racism in general. For a company like Hourglass, a big company like Hourglass to not have its finger on the pulse and not have someone in their boardroom saying, hey, we need to create these darker shades. We need to be more inclusive. I just don't see how that's not possible. So it's really a slap in the face to the consumers that they keep bringing out these palettes and not extending their shade range. I think it's absolutely crazy. But aside from that, they really do make beautiful products and I was so ready to not like this. I thought the color would be too light for me and I was definitely not gonna keep it if it was not gonna be something that was gonna show up on me. So I have no idea why I thought that I wasn't going to enjoy the palette and the colors that it had to offer because the two Hourglass products that I own, these two, I had the blush palette and then the Ambient Strobe palette. I absolutely love these. The formulation of Hourglass is completely, completely beautiful and unmatched. I have not seen any other formulation like the way Hourglass formulates their powder products and I can see why it has a cult following. I can see why it has over five stars on Sephora. I really can't understand why the company refuses to grow with the times and extend its shade ranges. That's my only qualm. If they could just fix their shade ranges, I would be so wholeheartedly supporting them and buying a lot more of their product. I'm going to pull in a clip of me demoing the product, but before we do that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. This is the Hourglass and me putting this on. But I figured that I would give you a two for one. I actually got a sample of the new NARS foundation, the Soft Matte Complete Foundation that everyone's been raving about. I've actually tested it out for a couple of days too, so I figured that I would jump on camera and just uh, put it on my face to show you guys. 
Now the color that I got, like I said, it was a free sample at Sephora and they only had a few colors left. The color that I got uh, is Macau and I thought Macau looked a little bit dark, but once I put everything on and together and finished it with powder, it actually came together. A couple dots, get my hair out the way. I feel like it looks extremely dark for me, but I really just want to test out the formula and see if it was worth the hype. And I must say, I do enjoy this foundation. Go ahead and blend it in. I don't really go up too close to my under eyes just because I've already got some concealer down. But put that on there. I've been really thinking about buying this foundation, but I don't know. I can't bring myself to buy it because I have like 50,000 bottles of the Pat McGrath foundation. Kind of went a little crazy. Um, and since we are in quarantine, you know how we have to wear masks out in public? I've really been dissuaded from buying foundation and I'm just like, I'm not going to buy any foundation until I can actually put on a full face of makeup. Because what I've been doing is just putting on concealer, some powder, and going. And I've been doing my eyeshadow too here and there because, you know, you can still see that if I have my mask on. But foundation I have not been really wearing, to be honest. But I thought it looked really dark, but it seems Macau can work for me. That's pretty cool. And the foundation is pretty full coverage. I've had some like dark spots over here that I like to cover up and it really covered it up with one squeeze like I don't it's not it's like a pump so it's like a squeeze I guess uh, I put uh, I would say two full squeezes down of my foundation <laughs> this bottle is cracking me up on camera like it looks so tiny let's move into the hourglass now this is the packaging the packaging is beautiful the box is pretty cute too what it looks like on the inside those are the colors so the foundation has really settled in uh it looks like my skin but better like, i wasn't aware that full coverage foundations could do that it's a medium to full coverage foundation but i actually like it we're going to the first powder right over here in the corner and that one is called soft light it's a finishing powder so i'm going to go in with it under my eyes This is really one of my first hourglass uh, face palettes. I actually had the blush palette from last holiday season, but of course that was just all blushes. And, and I also have the highlighter palette from them, a holiday uh, highlighter palette that everyone raves about. I'm gonna use that in today's video too, just to show you a difference of the highlighter that they have in here. Put some more powder on. I really like this powder, like you can pack it on and it is not going to get cake. I'm really surprised that it doesn't turn me casket white. It's a really nice finishing powder. Now I'm gonna go in with the bronzer and the bronzer is called Golden Bronze White. And uh, I've been loving the Gucci bronzer. So every chance I've gotten, I've been putting on the Gucci bronzer. So now that I'm trying out this new bronzer, I've been kind of like, not sad, but like, you know, I wanna wear the Gucci bronzer because I love that color and I love the Gucci bronzer, but Let's go in with this bronzer to see if it shows up on me. Which I've told you guys, I've been trying this product out for you just so I know how it wears throughout the day. And the bronzer does show up. It's light, nice, soft, bringing shadow to the face to create that dimension. So as you guys can see, it did a little something something there. So while I'm a little disappointed that I can't use the Gucci bronzer, I do like how this brings kind of a soft shadow to the face and it does bronze up my face. But of course, if you're darker than me, this would not show up on you, which is really a shame. So in 2020, this is what Hourglass is really doing with everything going on in the world, with all the climate and things happening, Hourglass just refuses to be inclusive. So, so I did want to try this palette out for you guys, so that's why I did go ahead and purchase it, but I feel like Hourglass can do so much better than they are. I actually have like a six head, 
we're gonna bring it down to at least a forehead. And then go ahead and chisel out the chin. I like to go in and bronze my nose a little bit too. Dip this right on in there. So you can see the color a little bit better now with the light frost down just a touch. It's like doing makeup for like just a really soft day with this bronzer. I'm kind of blown away by the formulation of the powders and how well they blend into the skin. Uh, the bronzer and the blush do have like a little bit of sparkles in there, but you can't see it on the skin. This is what I think uh, actually goes into making the formula special. Go over it and kind of blend everything together with that same powder. Let's go in with the blush. Don't want to get too heavy handed because this can get a bit out there. And I'm not really like a huge blush girl. Like I don't like people to see that I'm wearing blush. So as you can see that blush color does show up nicely. I'm using my Sonia G Designer Pro. I love this brush for putting on blush. <laughs> That's tricky to say. Say that fast five times. I love this brush for putting on blush. So blush is done. Now let's go in with some highlight. I'm gonna use a highlighter that comes in here on both sides and then I'm gonna go in with the highlighter palette from last year and just put it on top of one cheek so that you can see how beaming that highlight is. So we'll go in using the Sonia G Detail Pro. This is a really good brush for highlight too. really soft you have to build it up if you want that effect if you want it to be really beaming natural like you turn and you're like oh that's just my cheek I'm just really <laughs> glowy and highlighting so highlighter is on on both cheeks I, I went a little ham on this side you can see it right there on my right side I'm gonna go in with ambient uh, highlighting palette from last year from Hourglass now I reach for this when I'm looking for a beaming highlight. So I'm just going to put it on, you know, we're not going to put it on that cheek, we're going to put it on the left side because, so both sides has a teensers, a bit of highlight on there. I may have went a little bit, just a teensers, just a little bit overboard, but I'm going to go in with all three colors and pop it right on the top. So as you can see, that amplified it a teensers. <laughs> Maybe more than a teensers, but this is just with the uh, champagne strobe light on this side, on my right side. As you can see, like, even though it looks like I went in a lot, it just melts into the skin. On this side, I have the ambient highlighting palette added on. And as you can see, that is a really big difference. It's like Side. she might blind you okay Wayne Goss I'm gonna go in with that first powder again pick some up does pick up on there I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it but yeah does pick up on there quite a bit and then just buff it into the skin it's also a good trick so if you like went ham and your powders are just like in your face buffing always helps just melt everything into the skin Okay, every time I turn to the side, all I see is highlighter. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to fix that a little bit. Spray my face with the Charlotte Tilbury. And if you don't have one of these, pro tip, you need a little handheld fan to melt everything together. I'm going to push everything in with my sponge. This is the final look using the brand new holiday collection from Hourglass, the quad that they released. I have to say I'm really impressed with this palette. I love, love, love that strobe lighting powder, the finishing powder in there, and how it just ties everything together. I'm going to pull in the last clip to give you guys my finishing thoughts, probably in a different outfit too. This is the final look. I am absolutely in love. Remember this is the side that I did go ahead and top it with the ambient strobe powder so you can see it's still a little bit in your face but you know you kind of have your choice this side is very subtle 
the highlight is there, but it's very like, oh, that's very naturally glowy. And then you have this side, it's like, oh, she is an alien slut you can see her from Mars. As I said, I am blown away by this little quad and I am very, very excited and happy that I own it and it's in my collection. Of course, it's going to have to pry me away from my Gucci bronzer, but I can see myself using both of them, you know, uh, using the hourglass on a more like natural day. And as I'm looking at the foundation, the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, it does look a little bit dark. Of course, it is a sample, so I can't be too picky. So I'm, I would go like a touch lighter because you can see it is, it is a little bit dark around here, a little bit darker than I would like it, but the, the foundation gets a thumbs up from me too. I love how it doesn't even take a lot, but your face is completely covered and it's a smooth canvas to be worked on. Another thing, I did test it out to see if it would transfer onto my mask and a little bit did get transferred onto it, but nothing crazy. Like I can see why people are really digging this foundation. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know your thoughts. Did you pick up the holiday collection from and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.